Welcome to the shadows of the night, where reality blurs with our darkest fears. Tonight, we venture into the unknown, sharing tales that are not for the faint of heart. These stories are true, witnessed by those who dared work when the world sleeps. From eerie encounters to sinister presences, the night shift reveals horrors beyond imagination. Three tales of suspense await, each more chilling than the last. Are you ready to face the darkness that lurks when the clock strikes midnight? Let's dive right in. Night Shift Nightmares, a true horror encounter. Amelia's first night shift at the old hospital was met with whispers of its haunted history. Despite her skepticism, the rumors of a ghostly presence on the third floor, where patients had mysteriously passed away, lingered in her mind, casting a shadow over her initial excitement. As she made her rounds, Amelia couldn't shake off the feeling of being watched. The sudden cold spots and unexplained whispers in the corridors didn't help. It felt as though the air itself carried secrets, whispering tales of the unknown, urging her to listen. A seasoned colleague, noticing Amelia's unease, shared the story of a nurse who died under mysterious circumstances years ago on duty. This revelation added a layer of reality to the rumors, making Amelia question the line between myth and truth. While checking on a patient, the lights flickered ominously, and Amelia sensed someone standing behind her. Turning around, she found nobody there, yet the feeling of an unseen presence was unmistakable. It was as if the past refused to remain silent, reaching out through the veil of time. In a forgotten storage room, Amelia stumbled upon an old photograph. It depicted the hospital staff from decades ago, among them the deceased nurse. Holding the photo, Amelia felt a connection to the hospital's history, a reminder that its walls held stories of both life and the inexplicable. In the depths of the hospital, the young nurse stumbled upon an old photograph in a dimly lit storage room. Amidst the faces of staff from decades past, her eyes locked onto one that chilled her to the bone, the deceased nurse, her gaze piercing through the veil of time. As she leaned closer, inspecting the photograph, a cold sensation crept over her shoulder. She spun around, but the room was empty. The air felt heavy, charged with an unseen presence. This encounter in the elevator, a touch from the beyond, left her breathless, her heart pounding against her chest. The whisper of her name echoed through the empty room, a chilling caress against her ear. The temperature plummeted, wrapping her in an invisible shroud of cold. It was as if the very air around her was alive, whispering secrets from a world unseen, urging her to listen. A patient's ravings about being comforted by a nurse who wasn't there brought reality crashing down. The description matched the deceased nurse perfectly, a soothing presence in the night. This revelation sparked a mixture of terror and curiosity in the young nurse, driving her to seek answers. Determined to confront her fears, she ventured back to the third floor under the cloak of night. The hospital corridors, usually bustling with life, now seemed to hold their breath. It was here she encountered the ghostly figure, a spectral vision of the nurse, her warning clear, danger lurked within the hospital walls. Terrified but fueled by a newfound resolve, the young nurse made her way back to the third floor, the eerie silence of the hospital corridors echoing her footsteps. The dim lighting cast long shadows, transforming the familiar into the unknown. She knew something was amiss, something beyond the realm of the living, yet her determination to uncover the truth pushed her forward. Upon reaching the third floor, the air grew inexplicably colder, making her breath visible in the ghostly light. It was then that she saw her, the spectral figure of the nurse who had died years ago, her appearance as clear as if she were still living. The ghostly nurse's expression was somber, yet there was a warmth in her eyes that eased the young nurse's fear. The apparition spoke, her voice a whisper, yet it carried an urgent warning of a present danger lurking within the hospital's walls. The young nurse listened intently, her initial fear replaced by a sense of duty. She understood that this encounter was not by chance, it was a plea for help, a call to action from beyond the grave. Guided by the spectral nurse's warning, she began a frantic search, her senses heightened by the adrenaline coursing through her veins. It wasn't long before she detected the faint smell of gas, leading her to a small, unnoticed leak in one of the service rooms. The realization hit her, this was the danger the ghost had warned her about. 
With no time to lose, she triggered the fire alarm, initiating an emergency evacuation. Thanks to her timely discovery and the ghostly intervention, the patients and staff were safely escorted out of the building, averting a potential disaster. As the chaos settled, the young nurse looked back at the empty hospital, a sense of gratitude filling her heart for the guardian spirit who had once walked its halls. Terrified but resolved, the young nurse mustered every ounce of courage as she stepped onto the dimly lit third floor. The silence was suffocating, each step echoing ominously through the empty halls. It was here, in this unsettling quiet, that she felt an inexplicable pull towards a particular room at the end of the corridor. In the room, amidst the shadows, a faint, ethereal figure materialized. The ghostly apparition of the nurse, who had met her untimely demise years ago, stood before her. Her expression was solemn, a silent plea in her eyes. She spoke without sound, her message clear, a warning of imminent danger lurking within the hospital's walls. With her heart pounding, the young nurse followed the spectral guidance, her instincts leading her to the basement. There, hidden behind old, forgotten equipment, she discovered a gas leak, its hiss barely audible over the sound of her own breath. The realization hit her, this was the danger the apparition had warned her about. Without a moment's hesitation, she sprang into action, raising the alarm. The hospital staff mobilized quickly, evacuating patients to safety with a precision born of countless drills. As the last patient was wheeled out, the nurse looked back at the building, the weight of what could have been a catastrophe heavy on her shoulders. In the aftermath, as calm returned, the nurse reflected on her encounter. It dawned on her that the ghost she had feared was not a harbinger of doom but a guardian angel. The spirit of the deceased nurse continued to protect the hospital and its inhabitants, a silent sentinel against unseen threats. Terrified but resolute, the young nurse made her way back to the third floor under the cloak of night. The hospital's eerie silence weighed heavily on her, each step echoing through the empty halls. Her heart pounded in her chest, a mix of fear and determination driving her forward. Upon reaching the third floor, she encountered the ghostly figure of the nurse, just as the rumors had described. The apparition, translucent yet unmistakably real, stood before her, exuding a calm aura. The ghostly nurse's eyes bore into hers, and she began to speak, her voice a soft whisper carried by the still air. The message was urgent, warning of a present danger lurking within the hospital's walls. The nurse's initial fear gave way to a rush of adrenaline as she processed the ghost's words. With no time to waste, she dashed through the corridors, guided by the spectral figure's cryptic clues. Her search led her to a secluded area of the hospital where she discovered a gas leak, its hiss barely audible over the sound of her own breath. Realizing the danger it posed, she sprang into action, pulling fire alarms and alerting the staff. Thanks to her efforts, an evacuation was swiftly organized, preventing a potential disaster. In the aftermath, the nurse reflected on her chilling experience. She had come face to face with what many would consider their worst nightmare, only to find that the ghost she feared was actually a guardian. This revelation shifted her perspective, teaching her that not all hauntings are malevolent, and some spirits may linger to protect the living. Terrified but resolute, the young nurse mustered the courage to return to the third floor after her shift. The hospital, shrouded in darkness, seemed even more foreboding at night. Her heart raced as she stepped off the elevator, the silence of the corridor amplifying her fears yet fueling her determination. As she ventured deeper into the third floor, a ghostly figure emerged from the shadows. It was the nurse who had died years ago, her presence ethereal yet unmistakably real. The apparition's eyes conveyed a sense of urgency and warning, sending chills down the young nurse's spine. Heeding the spectral nurse's silent plea, she began to search the area, her senses heightened. It wasn't long before she detected the faint smell of gas, a scent out of place in the sterile environment of the hospital. Her training kicked in, and she knew she had to act fast. With little time to spare, she initiated an emergency evacuation, her actions swift and decisive. The patients, confused but compliant, were moved to safety just as the first responders arrived to address the gas leak. Her quick thinking had averted a disaster, saving countless lives. In the aftermath, the young nurse reflected on her encounter with the ghost. 
Initially feared, the apparition had proven to be a guardian, protecting the hospital and its inhabitants. The realization that not all ghosts meant harm brought a sense of peace, transforming her fear into gratitude for the unseen protector. In the quiet hours of the night, the new diner employee, intrigued by the enigmatic patron, decides to uncover the truth. As the clock strikes midnight, she watches him depart, her curiosity piqued. With hesitant steps, she follows him outside, the chill night air wrapping around her like a cloak. As she steps into the darkness, her eyes fixate on the mysterious figure ahead. He walks with a purpose, yet there's something unsettlingly ethereal about his presence. The diner's neon lights fade behind her, and the world seems to hold its breath, the silence punctuated only by their footsteps. Reaching the crossroads, she stops dead in her tracks. The figure, who had seemed so real, so tangible, suddenly dissipates into the night air right before her eyes. The spot, infamous for a tragic accident decades ago, now holds a new significance for her, a bridge between the past and present. In the days that follow, she delves into the history of the crossroads and uncovers a heart-wrenching story. A young musician, on the brink of stardom, had his life cut tragically short right where the diner now stands. His dreams, unfulfilled, seem to echo through the very fabric of the place. Driven by a newfound resolve, she pays tribute to the spirit of the musician. Selecting his favorite song, she plays it on the diner's jukebox at midnight. A palpable sense of peace fills the air, a silent acknowledgement from the beyond. The diner, once just a place to eat, now serves as a beacon for those seeking connection with a bygone era, its mystery forever woven into the fabric of local lore. In her quest to unravel the enigma of the diner's midnight visitor, the new employee delved into the history of the tragic accident at the crossroads. Her research revealed haunting parallels between the description of the mysterious customer and a young man, a budding musician, whose life was cut short in the 1960s. This discovery sent shivers down her spine as she realized the diner's regular might be a ghost, forever returning to the place he last knew. One fateful night, driven by a mix of fear and curiosity, she followed the spectral customer as he left the diner. Stepping into the cool night air, she trailed him to the exact location of the historical accident. To her astonishment, the figure vanished before her eyes, dissipating into the night like a wisp of smoke. This eerie manifestation confirmed her suspicions and connected the dots between the diner's otherworldly visitor and the long-ago tragedy. Determined to honor the memory of the young musician who never got to share his talents with the world, she made a touching gesture. At midnight, she selected his favorite song on the jukebox, letting the nostalgic melodies fill the diner. This act of remembrance seemed to bring a serene atmosphere to the place, a sense of closure to the haunting. From that moment on, the diner became a beacon for those looking to connect with the past, though the mysterious customer was never seen again. In the darkest hours, when the world is asleep, the night shift begins its eerie watch. From spine-chilling encounters to unexplainable events, tonight's tales have surely left you peeking over your shoulder. Remember, these stories are just a glimpse into the night's full mystery. Who knows what lurks in the unseen? If you enjoyed this journey into the unknown, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tales of terror. Until our paths cross again in the twilight zone of true horror, see you next time, if you dare.